Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take you on a walk outside. If you've been following along on the channel, you know that our grandma is dealing with cancer right now. And we're actually going to go tomorrow and the next day. And she's got to get an MRI and just kind of have some tests done. So we've had revival at church this week. So we've kind of, or at least I have run out of time and video planning. And I said, Katie, what are yeah, we going we to film? And then we thought, why don't we just go outside and kind of take people on a walk because it's we live in such a beautiful place and we're so blessed to live here and we get a lot of comments about how pretty it is here and then we also get comments about uh some people saying you know that they're disabled and they can't like get out of their yeah. house you know and that just absolutely uh you know like wrenches our heart and touches our soul and so this is can also be a video for people to just kind of get outside virtually and and go on an adventure and also right. thinking about Appalachian entertainment, this is like what we did for entertainment mm -hmm. as kids. We were outside all the time and we just thought it'd be fun. Go on a walk, talk about kind of some Appalachian entertainment, show you some pretty stuff. You can see the bees. The bees are all over this. Joe pie weed. I love it though. And they're little bees, they're really cute. Yeah, the, and there's so many. I saw three different kinds of butterflies on this yesterday. I saw at one time there was four on here. There's little bitty teeny tiny bumblebees on here, but I actually saw a honeybee up here too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're so little. And they're just tiny. They're so cute. I just wish I could boop them, but I'm scared of being stung. Yeah. So I don't think that's a good idea. However, I did one time very close to where we're at now, just really up that way a little bit. I went up there as we were talking about Appalachian Entertainment and I didn't really have nothing to do. So I was like, I'm just gonna come up here and sit in the woods for a minute. I could literally see the house. That's how close I was. So I went up there and I packed a little snack and I packed a little backpack and I just sit down and had a good time and looked around the woods and I was just really close to home. And when I came back, I could hear this buzzing in my backpack. And I was like, oh no, what is that? And somehow a teeny tiny like teeny tiny uh bumblebee had crawled down into the pocket of my backpack and it was so little and it just couldn't fly i don't know if it's because it was too little or it couldn't fly and so i kept it for two days and i named it pedro and i took it tubing we went tubing down deep creek and so i took it with me and it went down the river with me tubing and it was fine when i let it go i picked flowers it got what it needed i like it was okay it was fine and I kept that bee for like two whole days, my pet bee. It was fun. That's hilarious. Pedro, but he was like this size. I mean, some of these bees here, bitty. he was really little, so. And then not long after that, I found like a baby bumblebee in the driveway and thought, I'm just going to pick this thing up. And it definitely stung me. Oh. <laughs> Which I guess I had that coming for picking it up, but. Yeah, I mean, they. the thing about it is, is especially, I don't kill bees in general because I just don't, but I especially don't kill honeybees. That's a, that's just a bad no-no. Shouldn't be killing honeybees. We need them, really we need all bees. The only ones that I might have a real problem with would be the, the Japanese hornets. Those are scary. Yeah. And they they kill other bees. It's true. So they're really quite aggressive, but you know something, you just really don't see those much. Like we're not gonna come outside right now and see them. You don't see them a lot. However, they can fly at night. So that's a problem. If you think you're gonna go back later at night and take care of them, don't because they can fly in the dark, so. Look, I just wish I could pet him. Eat you, buddy. I would have if he'd sit still. He's so cute. Look at his little fat legs. He's got the pollen dusted in him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carrying mm -hmm. it with him. Huh. This is Mama's col colis? I don't know that's how I would say it. And it has just taken over. Just this oh. red is such a beautiful color next to everything else and then i didn't realize that it would have these purple blooms i love this stuff yeah um hey come over here and let's see if this works these this jewel weed yeah remember don't you have to find like we we yeah you have to find a seed pod i'll show you if i find one i don't remember oh <gasps> and see uh I'm not doing it right. Usually you just touch it and it pops. Yeah, that one kind of curl up like that. We loved doing that when we were kids. We'd spend hours searching out every last little one. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, this was some serious Appalachian entertainment when we were kids, no doubt. Granny had another flower you could do that to, kind of, but it was she a did, flower yeah. you planted. It wasn't just 
That one don't really want to do it. Do you know some jewelweed in places I've seen it is yellow? Yeah, some of it is. Instead of this orange color? Yeah, this was really good Appalachian entertainment for us as kids. And if you got a beef thing, poison ivy, poison oak, scrape, burn, bruise, this stuff's great for it. This is my flower garden, and this is a weed of some kind. This is like a tomato, a volunteer tomato that's got this weird thing going on with it. I don't know, I ain't pulled it up. I, re I reckon I could, but. You sure it's a tomato? Yeah, just to look at the leaves. Look at these leaves, them funky leaves. Why has it got this on it? Uh, because it's being choked and killed by this weird vine. Oh. That's an actual, see that? That's a separate vine that's oh, grown I up. See. It. This is something I need to deal with and I just haven't yet. Um, there's blooms on these zenas and those are probably two and a half feet tall. And those cosmos and my um, nasturtiums. And just to be 100% honest, I don't remember what this is. You have to go back and watch your own video. I gotta look at my chart, and I don't remember what that is. That looks like columbine, kind of, but it's I not. I wouldn't have that. I don't time think. for that. It could be a volunteer. There's other little blooms in here too. So I know for a fact the zenas will bloom before the frost. So pretty successful time. Pretty successful go for my first time with this fall garden. I like it. And of course, gardening is a huge source of Appalachian entertainment. I mean, it has been for us just. Uh, through the years just walking outside to see the garden and definitely working in the garden mom made yeah. us work in the garden when we were kids well and it rubbed off like we would want to make our own little gardens when yeah. we were little or we Planting would say can we, can we when we went to the store we'd be like can we pick a flower to plant like just yeah. kind of take that ownership in the fifth grade our teacher had us grow a little garden and we all got to buy flower seeds and plant them I actually transplanted some plants from here that were already blooming. So it's just fun like to get to feel like you're kind of got a project going. So even into adulthood, it carried like, I was like, I want to make this fall garden and have some pretty things blooming in it and get the soil good and kind of enriched for the next season coming around. And then whatever I want to do with it, the space will be here when I'm done doing this. Maybe I'll plant something else, but yeah. it is entertainment to have something to work toward an idea it starts as the idea and it's entertainment for however long you think about it yeah. and plan and i've been known to drag stuff out and just for the fun of it like i drug this out for a long time just because i wanted i didn't want the fun to end oh yeah so absolutely this is my um passion flower vine so this part this is the actual vine this stuff is the spinach the malabar spinach but this vine grows with it and just kind of intermingles in it but you can see all through there those little wild fruits uh these little maypops growing they will be ready to harvest that's way too hard they'll be real soft that's too hard they will actually fall off the vine when they're ready they'll literally all come off and then you can do whatever you want to do with them eat them turn them into jelly do whatever but i just think it's so funny to see them all hanging and this is the most probably that i've had this vine has gone crazy we even trimmed it back so it probably would have had more but it's always a real favorite pollinator with the bees the blooms on this is and i don't think there's any blooms left it's, it's about by this time by september it's almost done blooming and it can be late september or it can be october i'm almost positive one time it was november it's got to be cold there's got to be a cold snap for these things to fall off so now we're going to walk into the woods just a little bit and we're going to go down to the creek. We played in the woods so much as kids. That was probably our biggest entertainment mm -hmm. source was playing in the woods. It and was. even now as adults, I mean, it's just beautiful to walk in the woods and therapeutic and oh, yeah. so many different leaves and trees and it's just fun. Well, and you don't, I'm telling you, you don't ever know what you'll find like multiple different times and something about this area between the chicken lot and here on the side of the bank there's been multiple times where i've come up here and found just random flowers like wildflowers one time i found one i just wish i took a picture i remember the name but it was right around in here somewhere it's kind of pink and had a long skinny stalk and then one time there was a wild tiger lily so i'm not really sure how that happened i guess it's just seed dispersion the wind blows the seeds in here i don't know but it's cool that occasionally there'll be wildflowers there's always trilliums when the trilliums bloom of course they're done now they always bloom in here but this place has also eat up a poison oak so gotta watch out watch that but sometimes i see frogs in here sometimes i see newts snakes see 
So it's really fun that it's just a step away from the house, but seriously, every time I come in here, there's no telling what's in here. That's like the first sign of fall. Those are the leaves that always turn. The briar leaves like that will turn first before anything else, I think. I always love getting to see the ferns. I think those are beautiful and our woods are just eat up with ferns. Oh, yeah. That is so pretty. I just wish that I could like get, make that And what do you call this, Katie, a fern forest? Sometimes if there's a lot of ferns, there's a place in the woods. We did a video there one time and I call it the fern forest because there's so many ferns that's like all that grows there. And there's a mushroom. You can hear our uncle mowing in the background. That is also a form of Appalachian entertainment is riding your lawnmower but I think these mushrooms are always very interesting looking. Another form of Appalachian entertainment. Mm -hmm. Knocking down the spider web so you don't take him to the face. I don't even, I don't, I'm not even afraid of spiders, but I just don't want them on my face. I don't like that. The moss on this tree is beautiful. We have tons of moss here. And I think it's pretty every time I see it. I think it's just gorgeous. It must just be a little something growing off of this tree. That's weird. What, what is, is that? It? it ain't alive. I mean, it ain't. I don't no... think so. I think it's just. Oh, do you see that? It's I dusty. did. Huh? That must be a top of a mushroom or something. That's weird. What? Pretty oh cool my though. gosh! If you know anything about this, comment below because it's tiny. It's like really, really, really dainty. It's like tiny. the size of my thumb. I mean, we've been traipsing around these woods our whole life, and I ain't never seen nothing and it's like, like that. Got dust on it. <laughs> that is absolutely bizarre. Look at there. Something's dug a hole. <laughs> One form of Appalachian entertainment is stick your hand down in there and find out what it is. I don't suggest that. It may have been something trying to dig a bee's nest out. Could be. be my guess. And if that's true, I'm glad there's no activity here. Katie's asking me to see if I smell fall like she does. She said, I was over here when I smelled fall. Do you smell it? <laughs> but I got it. It was like real strong. Probably what you're smelling is dead leaves is it my is. guess. Yeah, that's We've been so fortunate growing up just being able to just run right out into the woods i know that not everyone has that and we're so thankful we've been able to grow up getting to do that so that tree fell out and... Isn't it? oh there it is again in the hill. you can see the creek from here the trail used to be there's a dog trail or a deer trail right there there's a trail goes it's out probably there. a deer trail is my guess that ain't actually a, that's probably a dog trail it's that limb that goes in probably yeah it ain't my trail there's trails all over this they're dog trail some more of this real pretty moss growing there as far as moss on trees go i think this is one of the prettiest just comes to the base of the tree right there <laughs> can you see how thick that is i mean i can push my hand all the way in right there it's like a little couch looks like we got a little buddy coming this way i have seen so many of these this year i don't know if this is like a bumper year for them or what but i have seen so many this area right here where katie's at Right about there is where I found my very first arrowhead in the creek. I lost it. I don't still have it. I wished I did, but that's where I found my very first one. Katie's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cracking me up with the faces she's making. But looking for arrowheads like I was talking about or pottery or anything like that is a huge source of Appalachian entertainment. It has been for us for years. Even just any kind of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know. I was just laughing. I was thinking about these coon tracks that we saw over here. Yeah, we'll show you those. Those are cute. <laughs> these are fresh. Like, fresh, fresh. Like, real fresh. Do you see what's beside it? A tiny little salamander. Hello. So this, these little dirt castles, that's crawdads. There's been a crawdad come through here. Oh, look at his little hand. I know. Look at them little toes. Isn't, Isn't that funny? funny? So... That's very typical of down here to find coon tracks in the mud. They were down here looking for something to eat, and judging by all of these crawdad dirt towers, they probably found something. They probably ate the crawdad who was responsible for this. Probably. Here's one of the first signs of fall for sure. 
some of the leaves turning there. This has always been probably one of our very favorite spots in the creek as kids. I'll tell you what we called this. We called this Buck Crack Waterfall just because, you know, it kind of looks like see. a crack there. But this is just one of our favorite spots. I will say the creek is down. It's usually coming like all the way over that rock right there. It'll be back up in the winter though. Yeah. This is gonna be all we've got time for today. We're gonna head back up the trail here. Climbing back up is always harder than going down. It's not terribly hot today, thankfully, like we said, but I'm looking so forward to about October, November, where things really start cooling off. And I'm hoping we can maybe go up the creek some more. Maybe have some picnics. Get some footage. Because we love being outside. That's really our favorite form of Appalachian <laughs> entertainment. We're back where we started. Back in front of these pretty Joe Pie weeds with the bees buzzing. You can smell the basil. I and know. This, uh, the basil smells so garden smells good. really good. We're gonna go in and get a drink of water. You can tell we're out of breath, but you have to comment below and let us know if these are forms of entertainment. Appalachian entertainment is just what we're calling it since we live in Appalachia, but let us know if these are forms of entertainment you like to do as kids or even now, uh, if there's anything else. I'm sure there's lots of other things that people you do know, that they did. Yeah, for sure. There's just a few things though that we've done. I was looking at a lizard over there on the house. That's something else we'd do. I'd case the house to see how many lizards or caterpillars or something I could count. Yeah. Caterpillars, I'd catch them. Oh, yeah. When we were little. But it's making fun out of the little things and the simple things Absolutely. that you have. So, Absolutely. And we hope that you enjoyed just watching and getting to come along with us and, you know, continue to pray. If you don't mind for Granny and her appointments, we're, we're hoping that this MRI will show that there's no more cancer located anywhere else. And, of course, keep praying for us. And uh, we right. love to pray for you all. So, definitely continue to drop comments below about what we can pray for you on and we and always appreciate you watching we do and we thank you i thank you so much for your love and your support and your sweet and your kind comments they mean more to me than you know or will know so thank you absolutely and i guess we'll sign off here and catch you at the next one god bless you god keep you bye bye okay right. video is on no, let's see this back up. Oh, okay, this is gonna be perfect, right here. Put your sunglasses like up on your head or just somewhere else, and then we're gonna be like Appalachian Entertainment, so we can just be like. You sure that's a chicken feather? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's a fresh pile of poop with a slug on it. Ew! Okay, I absolutely did not wear the right shoes for this today. But I suppose that's okay. Here's one of the first. That was rotten. Never mind. Here's one of the first signs of fall for sure. These, it won't focus. Fall in and here? a bee ate a spider. It was a big hornet, and he like literally. That's how he flew. He went do 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 do. Grabbed it and went do do do. Back up. Look at him. I can't He's see right it. right there. I... On that. Oh, log. I see it now. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> Looking for, looking for arrowheads. <laughs> One more time. Your face, you're just making this weird face. Also, let's, foot touch something. Okay, let's turn around. This slide's like a little bit better. <laughs>